so I just got back from my workout at the gym today might have been a little more challenging just because I went to the gym yesterday night instead of yesterday morning um, so my workouts were a little bit closer together but I definitely struggled at times but I made it through and there's always this feeling of extreme satisfaction when you are able to power through a workout that is difficult so at the moment I'm doing a sample gym membership trial at Nick's gym just because I thought if we could go to the gym together in the morning it would be a bit more motivating to have a fitness partner. Typically he likes to go right when he wakes up and today that was like 7 30 in the morning but I did manage to go by myself regardless. Um, so I'm trying to do cardio almost every day during the week Monday through Friday. If I skip a day I'm not beating myself up over it but I am trying to get in that habit of doing cardio on a daily basis. You may have noticed that the treadmill I was running on this morning looks a bit different than your average treadmill. Um, it's basically a curved self-powered treadmill, which means that it moves with the momentum of your body. So you're controlling how fast you're going based on how fast you are running or walking. Because I have never used these until recently, I wasn't sure how I felt about them at first, but now that I've used them a bit more, I actually really like them and they are so much easier on my joints so if you're someone who struggles with joint pain like knee pain hip pain ankle pain all of which are a problem for me then you might want to find a gym that has these types of treadmills i am in the process of filming some videos directly pertaining to exercise and workouts you can do and things you can incorporate into your aerobic routine so if you guys want a video specifically on my gym workout or what i've been doing at the gym let me know and i'm happy to film that for you i feel like videos like that can kind of feel boring to me so um that's why i really don't usually film that kind of stuff also i'm not like a fitness channel but i do think fitness is really important and honestly since i've been taking better care of my body and exercising more i just feel like 100 percent different like 100 percent better just in every single way. I also feel like my moods have been better. So yeah, I'm happy to motivate you guys if you need the encouragement. And I, I definitely think exercise in general is so life-changing. That being said, I have recently invested in some items that I felt would help motivate me get into a better fitness routine. Um, and I wanna show you guys what they are. Uh, nothing in this video is sponsored. And I'm also not implying that you need all of the best gear to get in shape because it's definitely not the case. But for me, I just feel like I've never had, um, I don't know, I've never had specific clothes for working out. I've never had specific like things for fitness. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna buy myself a few things that I know I'll actually get a lot of use out of. And I do think there is something to be said about walking into the gym and feeling your best. For me, that doesn't mean I have to look super put together or super great. I just wanna feel like I have the proper tools that will help me along the way. All right, so this will probably be the largest haul video that I will ever do because it's not really um, something I typically do, but I thought sharing these items might be helpful for you guys. Um, the first thing is a reusable water bottle, and this is actually something I've talked about in a lot of other videos, and this is not a new item, but it is something I use every single day. There are obviously a lot of brands that make high quality reusable water bottles, and this one is by Clean Canteen. It is by far my favorite for a lot of reasons. I also like that it has this little hook so you can easily carry it around. But yeah, I use this every day. It keeps beverages hot and cold for a really long time, and it also eliminates the need for plastic water bottles. So if you don't already have one of these, I would definitely recommend getting one. Moving on, I also invested in some high quality athletic wear. And I will be honest, this is the most I've ever spent on gym clothes. And I got two sports bras or gym tops and then four pairs of leggings, one of which I'm wearing right now. Um, these definitely make me look like a superhero. And the reason that I got four pairs of leggings, um, which might seem excessive, is just because if I'm working out every day, obviously 
Um, I don't want to have to wash my clothes every single day. That would be inefficient. So I figured that I could do like one load at the end of the week, but I'll probably end up wearing these a couple times before I wash them anyways. So all of these sets are by the brand Aloe, and if you want me to do some sort of a try-on, maybe I can include that in an upcoming video. I opted just to get all black because it felt like something I would wear most often and something that would last the longest. Now before I purchased any of these gym clothes, I really did some research into what brands were best for the environment, um, what brands provided fair wages for employees, and obviously I tried to avoid fast fashion when possible. So this was what I felt was the best option in terms of all of those things as well as quality and how they actually fit my body um, because I've never really had clothes that fit me super well for the gym. So I did want to find things that were flattering and felt comfortable. Obviously as the consumer, it is up to you to do your own research and determine what brand is best for you and what makes the most sense. I also bought two pairs of these Nike gym shorts with built-in underwear. I don't know why it took me my entire life to discover these, but they are truly life-changing. And they're so comfortable. They're great for running, but also for lounging or post-exercise. And these were pretty inexpensive. I think they were about $25. Going along with that, I also invested in a set of these mesh bags. These are for your washing machine for delicate items like gym clothes, lingerie, or whatever else you have that uh, needs to be washed on a gentle cycle. Um, and I wanted to just get these so that I could keep all of my clothes um, as nice as possible. I also bought a new pair of shoes specifically made for running um, because I wanted something that was supportive and yeah, like especially in the arch area and these really fit me like a glove. They are so comfortable. They definitely have cat hair on them, but that's a lifestyle. And I think these are called the Nike React. So I will link these and everything else that I'm talking about in the description box below in case you wanna check them out. The last item that I bought was a pair of wireless headphones and I was on the fence about whether I wanted to get a pair of over-ear headphones or something like the Apple AirPods, but I did opt ultimately to get these. So these are the JBL Under Armour training headphones and so far they have been really awesome. I've only been using them for a couple weeks, so I can't really give you a full review or anything like that, but they do have a lot of cool features including ear covers that you can take off and wash. So if the ear pieces get sweaty or anything like that, you can wash those. Um, they have a talk through button if you wanna have a conversation with anything at the gym while you are listening to music. This is what they look like. I can hardly hear any noise from outside of my headphones when they're on, which is nice. And yeah, they just seemed suitable for my needs personally. And I also have mixed feelings about ear pods being so close inside of your ear because there is obviously radiation from Bluetooth. I don't know if there's a huge difference um, when they're outside of your ear, but I felt a bit safer about it. So yeah, at the end of the day, I, I decided to get these. So whatever gear you choose to wear, I do think if you have some residual income that you can allocate towards like your own health and well-being, then it's worth the investment. All right, I'm going to take a shower and get into my normal clothes, and I'll see you guys very soon. I'm currently heading to this piercing shop. Basically what happened is when I was in New York a couple weeks ago, I got two new earrings in my right ear up top, and then I had a couple of pieces of jewelry switched out that were in old piercings and one of them got super irritated and infected and my ear like basically ate the earring it was super gnarly and this guy had to do a small surgery to get the earring out of my ear but he fixed it so now I'm going back to have one of these earrings looked at and I think I might get another ear piercing while I'm there um, I'm not sure why, but I'm suddenly very into wearing earrings, so I feel a little bit addicted. I don't know what's gotten into me. Great work, thank you very much. 
closer. Very excited. My ears are really red. That's okay. I don't know why, but Hanalee always smells like what I think a newborn baby smells like. <laughs> I am back home yet again, and I'm really, really happy with my new earrings and my new third hole. We also put hoops in the second hole, which I haven't worn earrings in there for so long, and I'm feeling kind of like a girl, which is weird. The guy who fixed all of my ear problems and pierced my ears is J Colby Smith on Instagram. I honestly don't know what the J stands for, and I feel bad about that. But yeah, super professional, nice guy, really attractive, small crush. So if you live in LA and you're in the market for a new ear hole or other hole, um, definitely reach out to him. I'm actually getting ready to leave yet again and meet my friend for this party. It's like some sort of lingerie slash candle party. I really don't know much of the details, but I haven't seen her in a long time, so I'm, I'm just excited to hang out with her. And the idea of an underwear party sounds intriguing. We are driving home from the underwear party. Alona is driving my car because I actually had two drinks, which I felt was too many to drive my car home. Um, and Alona is really, is handling business. And we're heading home. Hi. Hi, you're so cute. <laughs> We're heading home to watch a movie and we just ordered some food so that it should be there when we get home. I hardly ever order food by the way, but uh, this is a special occasion. The end. It was something